Hi there, it's Ina here and as you can see I'm already busy and I just turned on the camera but all I did was add some Neo Color 2 to my piece of art paper and use some water to uh, activate it, two different colors of blues for very simple background. And now I am going to paint some branches using simple black acrylic paint. Now this little art journal is for the weekly art journal prompts, which is a Facebook group. And the prompt for this week is tissue paper. So I'm hoping to create some little flowers with the tissue paper I have on hand, as I've already had <laughs> some pinks and a little purple. So I think flowers is the first thing that came to mind. So I'm using two different type of paint brushes here. A rather large one to start with and a very fine one now to finish up the little branches. Now this page is going to be rather quick. The video is very short because a lot of it is repetitious and I did speed it up quite a bit so not to bore you. So here's my tissue paper. I folded several times and just cut out little leaf or petal looking shapes. It's really not so important how uh, correct they are or how equal they are. Uh, just get plenty of different colors cut here. Well, as I said, I don't have many different colors but different shades. So there are three different shades of pink and I also cut it a little purple. Now I know these type of tree flowers or cherry blossoms do not have purple in them, but I just wanted to have a little something to give a bit more brightness. So now I'm adding these little petals using a paintbrush dipped in glue, very simple school glue, rather liquid. And that way I can pick them up one at a time using just my brush. Now they tend to stick together a little bit even after you cut them. So you have to fluff them up a little bit and get them to separate. And then I arrange them in little flower shapes, maybe six or seven to a flower. And I overlap them a little bit too, so I get different shades of pink. And I add a little purple to each flower as well. Now this takes a little while. It's a little bit fiddly. The things get stuck sometimes on your brush or on your finger. And so I sped this up quite a lot, as you can see. But I think you get the idea. So I arranged it in a flower form, but also I added a few of the little petals on their own towards the end of the skinnier branches. I also added some to the background. So let's see, this will take just another minute or so. Now I've been uh, following these weekly art journal prompts and I must say I really enjoy it. I do not make a video of each one of them, but of course at some point I will give you a view of my journal where I keep them all in. I'm now at week 20, or is it 21? No, I think it's 20. So nearly halfway through the year, and I'm so proud of myself that so far, so good, I was able to stick with it. So back to my page, everything uh, gets dried, and now I want to do a little drippage. Now, originally I'd hoped that my uh, tissue paper would bleed a little bit, but I could already tell when I glued it down that that wasn't the case. I guess um, for most uh, usage, that's probably a good thing. But of course, for this little page, it would have been nice if it would just bled on itself. But I used some different shades of glimmer mist, different pinks, some purple. I added a little water to, to get a nice little drippage. And I just kind of played around a little bit until I was happy with it. Again, this is a very simple page. And I keep all my prompt pages rather simple, as that's really the only way I can keep up with them every week. So let's see, that also needs to get dried. And of course, I want to add the prompt itself. I decided not to add quotes or anything like that, but just put the prompt right as part of the page. So as this one is tissue paper, that's what I'm writing. And I'm trying to make it look a bit rustic, just like the branches. And the reason I started first in the back, then in the front, so I can meet in the middle and get a nice uh, distance there. So a little touch up on those letters. I don't want them to look 
super straight, but more a little knotty, just like the uh, tree branch. And then let's see what's the next step. <laughs> Come on, good enough. A little thicker on the pea. Oh yeah, a little sprinkle here or splatter. This is just a watered down white acrylic paint. And now the edges I do with some archival ink couple of times around so it comes a little bit heavier in parts. I also added some white to the centers of the flowers off camera and you can see them on the photos. Bye bye for now.